Hello everyone, I am Santanu Dutta from West Bengal. I am currently doing my BSc Physics Honours from Bindapur College Autonomous. Recently, I gave interview at TFR Mumbai to TFR GS 2024 exam. My interview was held during the March 18 to 19, 2024. At first, there are a written examination. After clearing the examination, then the interview process will done. So my interview date was 19 March 2024. During interview, about 48 students were selected in the interview date. Among the students, some groups were distributed in the way some panels. Each panel there are four to five interview professors to take your interview. So my interview was about 11 to 12 am so after entering the interview room they asked about me from where i go to the campus so i gave the my introduction to them then they gave some departmental choices form after this they start with the some questions firstly they started with from the quantum mechanics part so at first they asked from the quantum mechanics about the free particle wave function So the wave function will be psi RT some constant into exponential I k dot r minus omega t. It's just like a pain wave function and then after this they give me a potential which depth was v0 and a quantum particle incident from left to right and they asked me to describe the form of wave function about these three regions so here we can apply the Schrodinger equation time independent So we apply in these three regions the Schrodinger equation and get the form of the wave function. So after that they asked from the experimental part. They asked about the experimental what I have done my BSc. Firstly they asked about the photoelectric effect. They asked about the experimental setup and how we can done the photoelectric effect experiment in our lab and what are the outcomes we get from the experiment and what are the quantum phenomena in this effect. Then they asked about the other experiment some pendulum. So they, it's a, a simple pendulum they get, they did give me, from this pendulum they reach, uh, instead of a bob, they give a balloon which filled a of water, instead of this bob, then it's oscillate after it's displacements from somewhere it says oscillation after that 
did they say that we did a hole inside the balloon then what will be the time period variation on this so at first when the balloon is full of water its effective length will be here from the center of mass after some time the water will leak through the hole and its upper part will without water then the center of mass will down then the effective length will increase from that the time period from the formula 2 pi into root over l by g firstly the time period will increase from the normal time period then after that when the water is completely free from the balloon then the center of mass get upward and length will be less from the before then the next time period t2 less than t1 at first the time period increase then after that it's all also decrease after this they asked from the nuclear and particle physics they give me a nuclear reaction and asked that if this reaction is hold or not if hold then why and if not then explain this so you know that this is the nuclear reaction beta decay so to hold the re nuclear reaction we can conserve the quantity to as like energy linear momentum spin electron number baryon number and also charge except electron number the other quantity were conserved if we check the electron number then electron number wise it is not conserved because it is not lepton so lepton number is here zero proton is baryon so here zero but electron here case lepton number is plus 1 so to maintain the to conserve the lepton number we have we have to do some extra particle in this reaction so from conservation mass and energy here we introduce the neutrino particle here then they said that here we introduce the anti neutrino because neutrino is lepton number is lepton number is plus 1 and anti neutrino lepton number is minus 1 to make this conserved we need the anti neutrino part here then they asked that why we choose electron neutrino there are some other neutrino that mu neutrino and pi neutrino so why this is electron neutrino so then i told that there are some lepton family so so we can we should conserve the family wise lepton number so here as there is electron so its electron lepton number is plus 1 but muonic and tion tionic lepton number is zero if we introduce the muonic and tionic neutrino here so family wise lepton number is not conserved so 
they set all right next go to the other part next they asked from the graph plotting part they say the equation of square x square plus y square equals to 1 they say to plot it in a graph They said, okay, all right. Then, if x square plus y square instead of we change the equation, x to the power 10 plus y to the power 10 equals to 1, then what will be its graph? So, if we see that from the rules of graph plotting, we take x equals to 0 point and y equals to 0 point, then we here get y equals to plus minus 1 and here x equals to plus minus 1 so from this two result we say that this point is same for both cases so from through these four points the graph will be drawn but after from the equation, we can draw the maximum or minima from the we get the slopes. Close to zero. if we plot some points inside this equation here the graph its curvature will be changed and it's just like a squares form will be its shape if we rewrite the graph then its form will be just like this. So here it is the square and it's outside the other graphs rect square. Equals to one and it's inside where the circle will be here. So this is the question what I was asked from this interview. Thank you everyone. Bye.